this isn't a crime spree here, see? It's a debunking spree! Chris Matthews, hey, let me finish. Hi, this is my first case of my new show, Brian Hill's Rise of the New Right Debunking Spring. My first case will be that of Alex Jones. Now this is what, this is the facts of what I've got. Alex Jones, <clears throat> I will first let you know who Alex Jones is, for those who still don't know who he is. Alex, Alexander, <clears throat> Emmerich Jones, born February 11, 1974, is an American talk show, I mean talk radio host, <coughs> and filmmaker. His syndicated news talk show, The Alex Jones Show, based in Austin, Texas, airs via <coughs> the Genesis Communication Network over 60 AM, FM, and shortwave radio stations across the United States and on the Internet. His websites include Infowars and PrisonPlanet.com. Mainstream news sources have referred to him as right wing. Yep, that's what's going on right now with that documentary. Conservative and a conspiracy theorist. Jones sees himself as a libertarian. I think he is too. I think he's for liberty. <laughs> and rejects being described as a right winger. Yeah, you go! You go, Alex Jones. You are not a right wing. You're against the left right wing paradigm. I've watched. I've watched his films, and he's against both the left wing and the right wing. Anyways, he has also called himself a paleoconservative. In a promotional biography, <coughs> he is described as an aggressive constitutionalist. I guess that's me too. I am for the Constitution. <laughs> Anyways, let me tell you what else I've got on this guy. Alex Jones has been arrested several times, but he's never resisted the police. Now, if Alex Jones was truly some right-wing extremist or terrorist, Alex Jones would have punched the police and hit them and got himself tasered and been all like, ah! Alex Jones didn't do that. And I've got the videos to prove that, that Alex Jones didn't resist the police. He did not resist the police. Alex Jones was peaceful. In fact, he is trying to be, he is trying to, to be as peaceful as he can. In fact, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't respect people that, that get all violent and start killing people. He wants people to be peaceful. That's what he's trying to do. And, 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 and you know, so this dis proves Chris Matthews saying that Alex Jones is part of some violent rhetoric or right wing. So, also, Alex Jones also, well, he didn't officially get arrested, but he got, he almost got, he got practically detained by the Secret Service because he asked George Bush a question. Yeah, it says Alex Jones arrested for asking a question. That was against George W. Bush. So what happened was he at this is what oh, uh, Alex Jones asked Bush. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the videos after this. It's gonna be three uh, three cascading videos because I want you to see the truth of Alex Jones for yourself. That he is not a right winger. That Alex Jones is not a violent person. Alex Jones is peaceful, and he's against the New World Order, and he's, he's practically not a conspiracy theorist. He is doing everything he can to back up everything he says, and I see that. From his sites, he backs up everything with documents, he backs up with documentaries, he gets all the video footage he can of the Bilderberg meetings and other stuff. You know, he's trying to do everything he can 
Although I'm not sure, well, you probably didn't get footage of that, but they, people were trying that. They were trying to get footage of that event. So, you know, Alex Jones does the best he can to back up everything he says. <coughs> so this just proves what Chris Matthews is going to say about Alex Jones. Anyways, this is the question that Alex Jones asked George W. Bush. Sir, shouldn't we abolish the Federal Reserve and the CFR? That's the real reality that none that none of you will talk about and most of you are members. That's that that's what's destroying this country, Governor. Don't you stand for America, sir? What about the Federal Reserve and the CFR? Then Alex Jones was grabbed by Texas police, taken outside in handcuffs. The cameraman is threatened as he films the entire incident. Afterwards, Alex Alex Jones was kidnapped and driven around for half an hour before being thrown out on the side of the road, all for the crime of asking a question. So I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and show you those videos now. I should not have to thumb scan and be in a computer. They also digitally capture your signature and your photograph. They could create any false identity they wanted to with your name and your social security number. And many government bureaucrats from the IRS to the EPA have been caught selling information. There are thousands of cases and convictions of this if people would just investigate it. This is an invasion of privacy. That's the most important thing. It's an invasion of privacy. There is no innocent until proven guilty in this country anymore. And Americans across the country have got to start standing up against Big Brother. And if they come up and touch me in any way, I'm going to lay down peaceably and let the police state minions drag me away. By the IRS, which is criminal. You know, it's, it's well known. Submit. He just said I must submit. I'm telling you, I've never been to jail. I want you to give me my driver's license. I want my driver's license. I am not a criminal. I may become one today, but that's fine. You're saying, you're saying you won't take me to jail at five if I'm still here. No, we're not going to take you to jail. Oh, yeah. This is against the grain of the Constitution. Look, if I don't take the mark, my right to travel is taken. You're taking my rights and telling me that it's no big deal? And now you want a urine and blood test. Bring me the, the, uh, the, the uh, document. Who has the urine and blood testing document? I need it. I'm going to pass these out to people. Ladies and gentlemen, the federal... Register Bill Clinton, urine and blood testing plan for you. Tell your friends about it. We have got to stand against this. The states are preparing to implement this plan. This is not a joke. This is not the entire document. It gets worse. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's a joke to them. Only Coach Penders matters. Only diversions like Rome, the gladiators. If I don't take this, if I don't take this, will I not? be penalized for not having a driver's license, by not being able to cash a check, by being given tickets, that if I don't pay those tickets, I'll be taken to jail. I can't travel out of state. I can't get on board an airplane. And the media is talking about thumb scanning to travel. You're working with the foreign banks and the military industrial complex. This is all their idea. Read the military war college from 1968. Now, I will be forced to arrest you. Sir, I'm here to get a driver's license. I have never had a criminal okay. record. It, it's go. time to go. Here I go. Get my stuff for me.